Hi, it is Friday, August 21st, 2020, and our devotion today begins with a reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 16, beginning at the 13th verse. Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say John the Baptist, but others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom, of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound on heaven in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And then he sternly ordered the disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Reverend Denise Fossen is the author of our final devotion for this week. She writes, Jesus puts the disciples on the spot. Who do you say that I am? It was easier for them to share what other people are saying. Some are saying that Jesus is the reincarnated John the Baptist. Some are saying Jesus is like one of the great prophets whose miracles Jesus imitates. If we need to, we can probably supply plenty of biblical resources to back up our own answers. But Jesus here is not interested in a biblical research paper. Jesus wants to know about your heart. Who do you say that he is? Jesus wants to know what you believe. Jesus wants to hear the workings of the Spirit in you proclaimed vocally. Dear, enthusiastic Peter boldly proclaims his growing faith. You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. A part of our growing faith formation is our growing awareness and deepening understanding of who God is and what that means for us, our faith community, and for the world. Peter is learning and sharing that faith aloud, and he is inviting us to join him. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, continue the work you have begun in us as we learn to love and trust you. Help us to believe and boldly confess that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Amen.